Some people enjoy designing the home screen and lock screen of their smartphones and tablets, but sadly there aren't many devices out there that let you modify the actual lock screen of your device. Thankfully, Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets with One UI have a way to remove the individual user interface elements from the lock screen. And you can change that screen on these phones with the Lockstar module of the Good Lock application. Now, if you're not familiar with this Good Lock application, be sure to check the video description below as I have a video dedicated to show you how to find that app, where to download it, and how it works with the module system. But today we're going to be focusing on the Lockstar module from within that app. So after you have downloaded the Good Lock application, we're going to then need to open it up and download the Lockstar module. Now I've already done that here on this phone, but when you first open up the Good Lock application, the Lockstar module is going to look like these others with the blue arrow next to it. So go ahead and tap the blue arrow for Lockstar so that you can install that module. So once that has been installed, you're going to see the Lockstar module change to look something like this. And we can tap into that module by just tapping on that specific box. Now from here, we need to enable the module it itself by tapping on the toggle up here at the top. So once that has been enabled, we are now given the ability to edit the lock screen and the always on display screen of our Samsung Galaxy S22 here. So let's focus on the lock screen itself by tapping on the lock screen image and then checking out the options that we have available. So right here we have a number of different user interface elements that you are likely familiar with because you're seeing them on the lock screen itself. But in this editor we can change, move, and remove these elements. So for example, the clock here. We can move this clock around. Maybe we want the clock on the bottom so that now whenever we save and lock the screen, you're going to see that clock down at the bottom. So not only can we move these elements, we can also change some of them. So when we tap on an element, for some of them, you're going to see a box of four dots in the bottom left hand corner. When we tap that, that brings up the configuration option for that element. So if we wanted to, we could change the clock style. And then move that around to where we want. The same can be said for the notifications. We can change the notification type. And even the shortcuts here at the bottom, we can change it to a different type. However, some of these cannot be moved. For example, the status bar icons up at the top we can't move it and we can't configure it, but we can remove it, we can delete it. So if you wanted a minimal and clean lock screen on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone, we can come into this good lock application and the lock star module and actually begin removing all of these user interface elements. We can have a completely clean lock screen on Samsung Galaxy smartphones by editing it in this module. 
Now, if you've made a mistake and have removed something that you did not want to, we can always go back into this editor, tap on a spot of the screen that we want to place one of these items, and say, for example, if we wanted to add back our clock, we can add back the clock and change the style to something we actually prefer. Same thing for the notifications. We can add those notifications in, place them on the screen, change the style if we want, and then save. So you can see the Lockstar module is incredibly powerful and can help you customize both the lock screen and the always on display screens to look exactly how you want them with these editor tools in the module.